Hi, my name is Pavni Singapore, and this is my BASEF 2022 Science Fair. So, before we get started, what is an autonomous car? As the name suggests, an autonomous car is a self-driving car, which is crafted using AI. Decoding the car. In order to work, autonomous cars need many sensors, actuators, complex algorithms, machine learning systems, and powerful processors to perform their functions. Using radars, they are able to track and make a map of its surroundings, like a GPS. Radars track nearby vehicles, and cameras are able to detect lights and other pedestrians. Another function called LIDAR, which is a light detection and ranging, uses its sensors to bounce light off the car to detect distances and road edges. Apart from this, in order to make it electric, you need a strong battery and daily charges. With all of this, you can ensure your safety inside the car. However, like everything, it comes with its pros and cons. Some of its pros is that it isn't necessary for you, to get, for you to get a driver's license, it increases your safety inside the car, and there are less environmental impacts. However, some of its cons are it decreases jobs, and its manufacturing price is incredibly high. And finally, it's technology, so who knows when it could fail. On to the next step. In order for more opinions about the people around me, I had to conduct a three question survey that is only accessible for people in my generation to answer because our world's future is in the hands of the next generation, not the current. The results of my survey are below. So my survey was three questions. The first question was, do you have a positive outlook on technology? The second is, would you want to buy an electric car? And the third was, do you want to drive a car? Analysis. The most obvious point that anyone can conclude from those surveys is that the majority of people said yes. In each survey, more than 50% of the people in it are people who support being the being of technology. But there are quite a lot of people who said that they didn't know either. So if we say that the people who said that they didn't know their answer went to the side of the people who said no, then the people who are manufacturing the cars won't be able to sell that well because their sales price needs to be greater than the manufacturing price in order to make a profit. Practical problem. In this study, the practical problem would be that this information could be used in the future to help with developing of autonomous vehicles. If this study was conducting with more participation, we could find out a more extensive and accurate result than the one that I have right now. With the help of engineers and mechanics, we'll be able to start preparing to build and test samples for electric and autonomous vehicles in order to make a cleaner and better world. Conclusion. In conclusion, I do think that we'll be able to produce them and we'll hopefully be able to adapt into a healthier and better environment. Because you should know by now that we can't overpower AI, but we can coexist with it because it's impossible to avoid the inflatable. Thank you. Do you have any questions? Credits. This presentation template was created by Slides Go, including icons by Vladikon and infographics and images by Freebic. Credits. My father for helping me come up with this idea, my classmates and friends for filling out my survey, my teacher, Mr. Potter, for introducing me to the science fair, all the people who work so hard out there to develop this awesome technology to use, slides go for this template, and the people at BASIF for giving me this opportunity. <laughs>